Greetings, I'm the GM and Director of Player Personnel for the Rockets. In addition to the 14th pick, we also have the 23rd pick in the upcoming draft and are looking at you with one of those picks. We'd like to get to know you better by asking you a couple of questions. Let's get to it. As a younger team, I feel like we have a lot of opportunities for you. I'm here to tell you that you have a chance to be our franchise centerpiece if you put in the work. How many other teams can offer you that? That being said, we still have a couple years ahead of us where we're going to be acquiring young talent and assets. We might struggle a bit in those years. Are you going to be able to remain focused during the rebuilding years? You know, the main characteristics of my personality is that I'm ready, I'm focused, I'm determined. But truth be told, I don't think Houston's the right place for me. Next question. How important is it for you to be a lottery pick in the draft? No, it's really not that important to me. You know, my dream is to go to a team that I can actually benefit. That's why if it was up to me, I would choose to go to Cleveland. I really think that team deserves a champion with a championship mentality. Thanks for your time. It was a little disappointing, to be honest, but I appreciate you being up front with us. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm the Director of Player Personnel for the Utah Jazz. My scouts have expressed a lot of interest in you. Before I can give my blessing to use our draft pick on you, I'd like to ask you a couple of questions, you know, to make sure you fit in with what we do here. We realize that here in Utah, we don't have the appeal of a Los Angeles or a New York or Chicago. We tend to look for players who would be proud to be part of this organization, someone who can really take pride in being a member of the Utah Jazz someone who's willing to spend their entire career as a member of the Utah Jazz. Are you that person? You know, you guys have had a lot of great players. Guys like Carl Malone, John Stockton, even Darren Williams. But you guys seem to let a lot of things slip through your fingers. Like players and championships. Let's see, one more question, if you don't mind. This is a question we ask all our potential draftees, and I want you to answer it as honestly as possible. Where do you see your career going? What do you hope to achieve out of your career? Ultimately, what do you want your legacy to be? I mean, what kind of question is this? I want to be the greatest player that ever played this game. I want to play for a great team, surrounded by great players and a great coach. You know, I want to be recognized in the Hall of Fame, not just by my numbers, but by my championships. Sorry, man, you know, this is, this is what I want to do for myself and my career, but this is not happening in Utah. Thanks for answering our questions. I don't know that we're a fit for you at this time. We'll need to discuss internally. I'll be in touch. Good game out there tonight, son. I'm the GM of the 76ers, and I must say I was impressed with your performance. We have the 16th pick in the draft, and I'm considering using it on you. I'd like to ask you a couple of questions real quick, if you don't mind. You play in a position that we're well stocked in with guys like Evan Turner, Iggy, and Thaddeus. With those guys on the roster and playing time expected to be limited, why should we draft you? Probably shouldn't. I mean, because then you'll just be wasting your time. Why would you want to draft a player at a position that you already have on lockdown? No offense, Philly's a great place. I love the people, but I'd rather play against Andre Iguodala than play with them. Okay, last question. It takes a strong will to play here in Philadelphia. If you give your heart and soul to the team, the fans will support you completely with their adoration. On the other hand, if you ever badmouth them or not give 100% out on the court, they will turn on you in a heartbeat and boo you relentlessly. They truly are the best fans in basketball and expect nothing less than your best. Do you think you have the makeup to play in this city? You know, Philly has some of the realest people in the world. But the reason why your fans are so mad is because y'all don't win championships. Y'all don't make moves to win in championships. Philly's just not for me, man. Well, that didn't go quite as I expected. We'll, we'll see you at the draft. Welcome to the 2011 NBA Draft. For the talented young men hoping to hear the names called tonight, this is a moment they and their families have long dreamed of and will never forget. To those here in the audience and those watching at home, thank you for joining us. Let's get to it. With the first pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Cleveland Cavaliers select Doug Martin. With the fifth pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Toronto Raptors select Nick Brown from Boston College. 
With the ninth pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Charlotte Bobcats select Eric Anderson from Louisiana State University. Twenty-fifth pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Boston Celtics select Tony Hamilton from the University of Memphis. With the 26th pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Dallas Mavericks select the 20-year-old small forward from the Air Force Academy.